It's exciting that you're ready to shop for health insurance. Before you start looking at prices or plans, there are some things that you should think about to make sure you pick the best plan for you or your family. First, let's think about how you and your family use health services. This will help you make sure that you get a plan that is the right fit. Here are some things to think about. Do you see the doctor a lot for sicknesses such as diabetes, asthma, or arthritis? Do you use a lot of medications? Are you going to need surgery or a special treatment soon? Or are you pretty healthy and mostly getting insurance just in case? Let's say you don't expect to use many health services. In that case, you may decide to buy a plan with lower monthly costs. But be careful, the less expensive plan could cost you more out of your own pocket if you do end up having unexpected medical costs, such as from a car accident. Next, think about the healthcare professionals you want to use. When choosing a plan, it's also important to think about the healthcare professionals that you currently use or may want to use in the future. So here are a few things to think about. Do you have doctors or clinics that you want to be able to go to or currently go to? If so, you can ask their billing department for the list of insurance plans that they accept. If you don't have a regular doctor, ask around to find doctors and clinics near you that people like. Make sure you find a doctor you can get to. Are they on the bus route or near a train station? Is their office on the opposite side of the city or is it near you? Is there a hospital that you would like to go to if you had a big problem? Have an idea of what medical providers and hospitals you would like to use. When choosing a plan, make sure that the plan covers these providers and doctors. Lastly, do you have medicines that you take each day? Are those medicines covered with a low copay? Once you've thought about you and your family's healthcare needs, the next step is to get together the information and papers you will need when you sign up. Here's the information that you need to have before you sign up. Number one, who is a part of your household? For signing up for health insurance, this means who is on your tax return, what are their ages, and addresses. Keep in mind that some people in your household, such as college students living elsewhere, may have a different address. Some people that live in your house, such as a parent or a girlfriend, may not be included in your household. That means they're not on your tax return. Number two, social security numbers for everyone in your household. Again, these are the people on your tax return. You need social security numbers for everyone in your household, even if they are not applying for health insurance. Number three, proof of income, such as W-2s, pay stubs, and social security benefit letters. You will need all this information because when you sign up, you will need to make your best estimate of your income for the next year. Number four, the address and phone numbers of all employers. Number five, if you are a naturalized citizen or a lawfully present non-citizen, you will need your citizenship or immigration documents. Number six, access to an email account. You will need to know the username and password to get into the account. Number seven, if you have ever applied for Marketplace Health Insurance, even if you didn't enroll, you will need your healthcare.gov username and password. Now you're ready to enroll. Just like when you shop for cereal or for a car, there are a lot of options to choose from when you buy health insurance. Let's review what you need to think about when you're picking a plan. Do you have a particular doctor or clinic that you want to use? Do you want a wide choice of doctors you can go to, or are you okay with having fewer choices? Do you expect to use a lot of health services, or are you getting insurance just to be safe? Can you afford bigger monthly payments so you pay less when you do use health services? Let's look at each of these choices a little more closely. Do you have a doctor or clinic that you want to use? All insurance plans encourage you to use doctors and clinics that are on their list. This list is called a provider directory. You will pay less money for using doctors on your health plans list. These doctors are said to be in network. You pay more money for doctors off the list. These doctors are called out of network. Balance monthly payments against paying out of your own pocket. When choosing your health plan, it's important to think about how much you want to pay each month versus how much you want to pay out of your own pocket if you get sick. This out of pocket cost is called a deductible. If you pay a larger premium each month, your deductible will be smaller. If you pay a small premium each month, your deductible will be higher. 
Let's say you go to the doctor a lot. You can save money by paying a bigger premium each month and having a smaller deductible to pay towards as you visit the doctor over the course of the year. Or let's say you do not use much health care and don't have any surgeries or special care scheduled. You might want to pay a smaller monthly premium and have a higher deductible. The next step in choosing a health insurance plan is deciding how much of your bill you want the insurance company to pay and how much you are able to pay. Your health insurance does not usually pay your whole bill. The portion that you pay out of your pocket is called the copay or the coinsurance. A copay is a fixed amount that you pay each time you use health care, like refilling your medicines. The coinsurance is a percentage of a total bill. Each plan has different copays and different coinsurance. Let's look at an example for each type of plan for a hospital charge of $1,000. For a bronze plan, the plan will pay $600 and you will pay $400. Bronze plans have the lowest monthly premiums, but the highest out-of-pocket costs. People in very good health might choose a bronze plan. A silver plan will pay $700 and you pay $300. Silver plans are a good balance between the monthly premiums and out-of-pocket costs. Most people choose a silver plan. A gold plan will pay $800 and you pay $200. Gold plans have high monthly premiums but lower out-of-pocket costs. Remember, this is just an example of what your bill might look like. We have simplified it here to show you the balance of premiums with out-of-pocket costs. Now that you've got everything together and you've thought a lot about your plan, you're ready to apply. Here are the places you can go to fill out your application. The best way to get help is by meeting with an in-person assister. They are licensed to help you enroll in Marketplace Health Insurance. Their services are completely free and they do not receive any payment from the health insurance companies that you might pick. These assisters are called Health Insurance Navigators, Enrollment Assisters, or Certified Application Counselors. You can find an in-person assister near you by going to localhelp.healthcare.gov. If you feel comfortable enrolling on your own, you can go to healthcare.gov and complete your application online. If you don't want to use the computer, you can call 1-800-318-2596 and enroll over the phone. If you select this choice, you won't be able to see the plans in front of you, but the person on the phone will describe the plans to you. You can also go to a licensed insurance agent or broker. If you don't have one already, ask around to see if friends and family have one that they trust and recommend. Now you know how to get health insurance and what to think about before you buy it. If you have questions about how health insurance works, the value of health insurance, or how to use your insurance, check out our other Get Insured, Stay Insured videos. You can also find free local in-person help by going to localhelp.healthcare.gov.